and jump in and we're going to look at two different chunks of scripture of this passage. But the first thing that we start seeing here, remember we're in the context of looking at the Spirit. The Spirit, Romans 8.1, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus because the Spirit, the law of the Spirit has set you free. So we're talking about the blessing that God has given primarily in the Holy Spirit. And we look, if you'll start with me um, down in verse 18. And Paul talks about uh, this, this situation of looking toward the future. He's going to talk about the cosmos. He's, he's, he's talking very big picture perspective in these verses that we're going to look at. And he starts off and he says, I consider the present sufferings that we're experiencing. He says, they're not to even be compared they don't even compare with the glory that is to be revealed in us. And then he goes on and he says, and even the creation, the creation waits in eager expectation for the appearing of the sons of God. Why? For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choosing, but by the desire or the will, whatever your Bible says, by the will of the one who subjected it. And so it says, in hope, we wait. That's the idea here. We eagerly long for, we can't wait to see. In hope, the creation itself will be liberated. Liberated. Freedom, just like in Romans 8, 1. Will be liberated. What from? From the dominion from the hold from the great possession that uh, that the shame that the negativity that the sinfulness of fallen man has had on it the decay it says and it says that it would be brought into the freedom and the glory that comes from the children of God and so I, I, want, I want to explain a couple things here to you first of all what in the world does Paul mean when he talks there in the beginning? He says, and he says, the current sufferings. You see, the current sufferings are, are all of us go through these. These are trials. These are challenges that we go through on a daily basis. It may be anything from a flat tire to a hard day at work to relational challenges in our family. Some of us are living with broken relationships. Maybe it be in your own marriage or your family. It could be that you're dealing with some financial situation that you just didn't expect. But these things come on us and they are current sufferings. All of us experience them. It also includes sufferings to the degree that Jesus experienced on the cross, death by crucifixion. And he says this, these current kinds of things that we're going through, he says, it has nothing in comparison to the, the glory that is to, be, to re, be revealed. Now, what does he mean by the glory to be revealed? That's an important idea. You see, here's the deal. He says, I'm looking down the road. I'm looking way into eternity as I say this. The glory that is to be revealed, that is the holiness. That is the majesty. That is the, the complete essence of being in the presence of God. He says, I might be here experiencing this thing now, but in the future, my body is going to be a new body. And I am going to have a glorified body. I hope everybody gets that. This is a key tenet of Christianity. When my body, Brian Belfar, when my last breath is done and I go in the ground, I really believe that one day when Jesus comes back, my body and every other believer's body that is in the ground or decaying will, be rise, will rise up and be resurrected and we will get a third type of body in a new dimension called a glorified body and we will be with Jesus reigning on a new heaven and a new earth and that is what I mean by the current suffering and the future glory in fact it's the idea of a scale let's just say that on this side you had all of the current sufferings that we could go through. Anything from physical ailments. I have my grandmother and my great aunt right now are both struggling with cancer. 
And you and I know people who have just lost lost loved ones. And I know of people who are going through marital strife. And you put all those horrible, horrible things that we go through on one side of the scale. And you put the glory that is to come. And the phenomenal blessing of being in the presence of God forever on the other side of the scale. And he goes, these things are like a little light feather. They're light compared to the weightiness of God's glory that is going to be coming in the future. And he goes, get some perspective. You might be experiencing these things now, but it's no big deal. You're moving there and rejoice in that.